this post here from Brendan was getting a bit of love on the subreddit because of, you know, I just, again, an, another unnecessary lie from the, the one and only Brendan Shaw, kind of similar to what I was talking to earlier about the Flacco thing. And again, kind of similar to what I spoke about earlier when I said that every guy in their guy group has a friend who just lies. And usually it isn't crazy big lies. It's just lying about the most innocuous, non important thing ever and one of the things that brendan seems to be doing that he does a lot as well is that he lies about stuff and i think in general it's like for me i don't think he lies about big things i think he just lies about little details so there's a story that he's doing recently now about or some I saw a clip somebody sharing about him saying the ferrari guy is a big fan of his comedy i think it was a clip taken from a pod he did where he said that the ferrari guy um, loves his comedy and put him on a list to get a Ferrari and that's how he got up there or something. I think that's what he said. I think something on those kind of lines. Um, now, I don't necessarily think the Ferrari guy did it. I think it was you know, somebody regional. He says the head of Ferrari of North America. Maybe somebody that worked for like a regional dealership may have been a fan, but he kind of spins it and says, you know, the main CEO of flipping Ferrari Global Motorsports or something is, you know, watching fucking the fire and the kid, which is absolutely insane. But I think maybe, yeah, would the regional manager that owns a dealership somewhere, um, cool, probably be a fan of his and Joe Rogan? I'd imagine so. So that's the case. So similar to this sort of tweet that he put out recently, um, where he's featured here with, uh, uh, what's these guys' names? Is that Greg Garland, right? I'm thinking in the middle. That's Greg Garland, right? That's the guy from, um, what's his face? From the Larry David thing, Kirby Enthusiasm and something else. And then the other dude is who? What's his name? Russell Peters. That's it. Sorry, look at me. I forgot. So anyway, the tweet says as follows. I was lucky enough to do a few sets with these legends of stand-up last night. There's over 70 years of experience in this picture. And I only add eight years to that number. I'll be starting the 2023 leg of my super... Oh, well, what's happened there? On my stand-up tour in Vegas, Jan 5th to Jan 7th. So the thing to kind of pick out here is this. I only add eight years to that number. Because what he's uh, insinuating is that he's been doing stand-up for eight years, which he clearly hasn't. I think at best, you could say he's probably been doing it for seven or six which again, isn't a big swing, but he's still him not wanting to say seven, not wanting to say six, wanting to say eight. It's such a nonsense lie because it doesn't necessarily even matter when you started it because people still don't think you're funny. So it's not as if like, if you say you've been in it longer, it kind of excuses the fact that maybe your comedy specials aren't that great. If anything, it makes it worse that you're eight years in and you have two specials that have been widely panned, right? That's not the best thing to basically be highlighting, in my opinion. But again, what do I know when it comes to these sort of things? I just think it's very, very strange that he'd go out of his way to say something like this personally for me. I don't understand why. And um, it's a common, uh, it's a common thing for Brendan in general. And the thing that's really funny about it is that it's easily disproven because all you have to do is go to articles like this, which I currently just, you know, I just randomly Googled this article and this is cut, taken from Fox Sports, a fairly well put together article. It's got a really cool picture. Um, it just looks nice, right? It's clearly done, you know, as a way to kind of promote and make him look good. It's written in November 2016, as you can see there. And the title is Stand Up. Brendan Shaw details his first night as a solo comedian, right? And it says, you know, Brendan Shaw knew he put his preparation to practice to be ready for this moment, but the nerves are still uh, washed over him like a cloud, cold bucket of water. Um, he paced back and forth, a million force running through his head. The crowd stood just feet away and the bright lights were gleaming. Shaw heard his name announced and there was no going back. That scenario probably sounds familiar if you're talking to Shaw during his career as a UFC fighter, but this time he wasn't stomping towards the octagon and Bruce Buffer wasn't the person calling his name. Shaw was stepping on stage by himself to do a stand-up comedy routine for the first time ever in front of a frothing crowd at the world famous comedy store in Los Angeles. He says here, I was nervous as fuck. Um it was like a it was like a fight. You know the hurry and wait thing. Like the worst part of the UFC fighters is the fight day because you're just sitting in your hotel all day just waiting to fight. 
well for comedy i do my set i've been practicing i was doing it three or four times a day for a week just to get ready for this thing and i didn't go on until 11 30 at night that's the way the show business and fight business works even before show business. so he's clearly pointing out or making it seem as if he's been in this game longer when this article that was written in 2016 around the time that he did start doing stand-up uh, properly by himself that's when it first started around mayish if i'm not mistaken no no may may can't be the time is it may it was about may if i think it might have been about may if i'm not mistaken again this is from a former fan so i would know these things and i just feel to myself like what would be the need what would be the need to lie about something like that like why would you lie because it's not as if like he's that far off again it's probably seven probably seven probably seven probably six but it's definitely not eight maybe because eight is closest to ten and he wants that big round number so he'll probably be cheating his 10 year mark when he does celebrate it he'll probably be like yeah i'm 10 years in when he's not he's maybe nine or eight years in but it's just a weird weird lie but again, I'm not surprised because I've had friends I've grown up with who would lie about the most nonsense thing just to appear cooler to the group, which doesn't necessarily make you look cooler. If anything, you look like a, more like a redact, if anything. But people tend to do this too often. But there he is there, standing with Russell Peters and stuff. And I don't know. As well, just this whole like legends thing and having you stand next to these type of people too. I, I wouldn't want it knowing what's happened with these recent specials. If anything, I'd be just hunkering down and trying to get my comedy sets to be funny and get people to want to, you know, get people to kind of change their opinion of what my stand up is like. Maybe not me as a person, but that's what I'd definitely be doing if I was him. But, you know, maybe I'm different in that regard because I'm him, I'm me and he's him, but who knows? but yeah i thought that whole thing was absolutely really unnecessary and weird but again goes to speak to the guy just wanting to lie all the time all the time all the time who knows who bloody no <laughs>